Hello, my friend, and welcome to Technical Tuesday on the Chef Land Show. And today, we're going to make pickled red onions. Super simple, super quick, delicious condiment you can use on all sorts of things. It's a staple you'll want to have in your fridge all the time. So join me around the corner as we cook this thing. All right, kids, here we go on this uh, Technical Tuesday, this super simple, super quick condiment that is super delicious. We're going to take these red onions. I French sliced. I've got a video somewhere on how to French slice onions. You can watch that. Uh, we're going to pickle these. So let's get started. I've got my pan over a, a pretty good amount of heat warming up. I just turned that on. So what I've got now is, by the way, uh, for every chef you ask about the ratio of, for pickling onions of vinegar to sugar, do you add water? Uh, if you ask 10 chefs, you're going to get 13 different answers. So uh, this is mine. I do two cups. Oh, yeah, nice and hot. Hotter than I thought, actually. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I had to crack myself up, so there you go. Um, so that's two cups. In this case, it's apple cider vinegar. Use what you want. You can use white vinegar. You can use rice wine. You could use a, a wine vinegar. Uh, you know, maybe a red wine vinegar, but probably a white wine vinegar if you go that route. But anyway, that's uh, apple cider vinegar. Ooh, we can smell the apple in that. Uh, this is one cup of sugar. I did not measure it in this. I know this is a liquid measure. Uh, I did a dry measure, one cup of sugar. This just made it easier to handle and pour. So I'm going to put that in. And to that, I'm going to add a very generous pinch of salt or two. I always want to bring the flavors together with that. And I'm just going to stir this to combine and dissolve the salt and the sugar. So that's going to take a minute. I'm going to bring it uh, up to a boil and turn it off immediately. And then I'm going, after that, I'm going to pour it right over our onions and uh, then they'll pickle. We'll talk more about that when we get to it. So, uh, so that's it right now. I'm not going to keep you here for this to come to boil, but when it does, I'll bring it back and we'll, uh, we'll go to the next step. So see you around the corner. All right, kids, this is uh, just now coming to a boil. Everything is dissolved in there. Uh, there it is coming up. Boom, 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 boom. There it is perfectly. I'm going to shut that off right now. So brought that to, whoo, don't breathe in vapors uh, from that vinegar. Whoo, that's opened my sinuses. So what I've got now is here's my uh, French sliced uh, onions. Let me break these apart a little bit. Um, and we're just going to pour in a heat resistant bowl. I'm using a restaurant style metal bowl, but if you have a glass bowl or something like that, make sure it's like Pyrex, something that'll withstand the heat. So now I am going to, it's nice for that sound, it's scraping the, <laughs> the pan against the bowl. Sorry about that. All right. So that's going to sit here now. It's essentially done, except, um, we're going to sit it at room temperature, let it uh, let it cool. And then once it does that, I'm going to pack it in this mason jar or a couple of mason jars, whatever I need. Put a lid on it and pop it in the fridge and it's ready. It'll be, it's good for weeks. It's a delicious condiment to add. So I mentioned the ratio earlier, uh, how sweet you want it. Some people like it less sweet, more of a bite to it with the vinegar. I like mine a little sweeter. Uh, I go to a two to one, but a friend, a chef friend of mine actually does a one to one vinegar to sugar. So you do you just experiment it, find out what you like. This is your kitchen. You cook. OK, so uh, I'll, br I'll bring it back around when this is cooled off. We're going to put it in the mason jars and I will see you around the corner. All right, kids, our red onion, uh, pickled red onions are now at a room temperature and I am going to transfer them to this um, pint size um, mason jar. If I had a quart, I would have used a quart, but I didn't. So here we go. I'm just going to use some tongs here and pick them up. Put them in. You notice they're a little lighter in color. That's because uh, some of that color bled out into the vinegar sugar mixture. Put that in. I'm not sure if this will hold all of these onions, but it might. One of the things about pickled onions is, is they, uh, 
they kind of collapse so you can fit more in there. Then uh, once I get these in, I am actually going to then um, pour some uh, pour some of the pickling juice in over the top. By the way, this was a about a, a medium to medium large red onion that I French sliced. You could also do rings. Uh, that's not quite as popular. You could do half moons uh, easily. A lot of people will do that. I don't know why I tend to prefer this way, but I do. So, all right. So now I've got 98.2% uh, of the pickles in here, and I'm going to, as carefully as a country boy from Saline County can do, I'm going to pour this liquid over the top. Look at that. Beautiful. Still have quite a bit of liquid left. Uh, so I probably could have done, it, truth is, I could have done another onion with that. And I'm going to put my top on it. And this will now go in the refrigerator. Isn't that beautiful? So this will store for a long time. I mean, vinegar is a natural preservative. So we are done with that. And uh, we'll uh, come back in just a minute after I take a couple pictures of this beautiful thing. And I'm actually going to taste one. I just love these things, actually. So we'll see you around the corner. Welcome back, friend. And it is now my favorite right this time of the day, and that is tasting time. So I'm going to open up this uh, little pickled red onion we've made. Look at that. Mm. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mmm. 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 Guys, unbelievable. So, you know, I mentioned that uh, if you ask 10 chefs how, how much vinegar to sugar, et cetera, you get 13 different answers. So I did a two to one uh, vinegar to uh, sugar ratio with a couple pinches of salt. If you like sweet and sour, that's the ratio for you. It is a ratio. It's not the ratio. Remember that. There's a more than one way to skin a cat, my mother used to tell me. So, pickled red onions, perfect to have, perfect complement on all kinds of things. If you do charcuterie boards, these are excellent as little side dishes on the charcuterie board. So, well, thank you for uh, joining me for this Technical Tuesday, making the pickled red onions. Uh, oh, so good. Oh, so quick. They're just super delicious. Um, so, I'm glad you were here. And remember this, a day in the kitchen beats a day of working any day. And we'll see you next time on the Chef Lance Show.